A blockchain is a database that acts like a shared ledger. The ledger is a record of transactions that have taken place. In the computing world, a set of data is called a block. A blockchain is simply a set of data blocks that have been chained together in a single record set. A blockchain provides a shared encrypted record of transactions that can be used to verify future transactions. This can be used for many purposes. For example, let's show how it's used for Bitcoin. When I try to buy my coffee with Bitcoin, I'm asserting that I have enough Bitcoin to buy it with. If I do, my balance will have been recorded in the ledger. So what's needed is a way to validate that record. That's where the network comes in. When the transaction is proposed, data is sent out for approval into a network of computers called nodes. These nodes attempt to validate the transaction. It's a challenging computational task to decrypt the message, and the nodes are actually competing to finish first. Within a few minutes, one node wins the race by solving the challenge, and then looking into the ledger to verify that I have enough Bitcoin to make the purchase. Every node has a copy of the ledger, which makes it impossible to modify or delete. The winning node's owner is rewarded with some brand new Bitcoin. In fact, that's where Bitcoins come from. Approval also requires a majority decision. It takes a few more minutes for the other nodes to signal their approval also. Now a majority of the nodes have approved the transaction. Requiring a majority secures the blockchain. The only way to tamper with it would be to hack into a majority of the nodes. I and the coffee house are notified and the sale goes through. All that's left is to update the ledger. The blockchain must reflect the fact that my bitcoins have gone to the coffee shop. Soon the block is appended to the main ledger. The blockchain has been brought up to date. It is redistributed to all the nodes and the process can begin again.